No, you're right. In fact, the idea to come here, of course, I got married, all this, but there's also the idea to take a step back from New York where things were happening. <laughs> Of course, things you know come from somewhere. People, things don't don't fall from the sky. They just there's a, a situation or something like that that makes you do want to do certain things. You're going to do. The funny thing is, uh, you have this too bad, but there's an auxiliary parking next to it. <laughs> ID that there's a, you know, like a, a higher power asks you to paint the corner. But also at the same time, you know, sometimes the records, the, the, the vinyl, when they, when they are like reduced or they're not sold, they give them, they cut the corner or something like that. There's something like that. Look at painting, and I even look at my paintings. Uh, you know, you can sit in front of a Roscoe and look what's happening, and I do the same thing. But I don't even see it as my work. I see it as work. The painting takes over, so you do you take some paint from from a bucket or whatever, and put it on the canvas, and it becomes something else. And it's you, there's a dialogue with this. And in fact, even this motorcycle, and we did a couple of motorcycles that we sold as sculpture. They have their own identity in a way. They become something else. But you can have a relationship the same way you can have a relationship with a dog or a cat or whatever. You can also almost have a relationship with objects, like a motorcycle, a car, or a painting. Closer. Wow. One kick. Boom. Start to that. Really? Yeah. You know, I mean, right now the funny thing is, it's pretty selfish. I mean, I, I do things I want to do, and it's basically for myself. And then, of course, it's interesting to have shows because it's a way to look at the work. lucky enough to meet some people in Paris in 66 and, uh, and at the time we suddenly questioned what art uh, was or, or what 
it's supposed to be. And there was a time also, you know, 66, uh, where people were questioning, there was a war in Vietnam, there was people questioning the whole uh, uh, organization of society and all this, and we were part of that, questioning the art that was done at the time. Mm. And we did it relatively strongly. So yes, and from that on, then but what you do after. So I guess you go on, and mm. then uh, you go on, and you, you, there's a kind of, you know, you can you question art in the beginning, then you start to question what you're doing yourself. So now, uh, yeah, right, well, you know, it's a moment, and then... But at the same time, it's also a form of failure, in a way. <laughs> I mean, and, and then that's... We, go on, but it's you go from one failure to another. Uh, explain uh, that for me. Well, uh, it's a little bit difficult, but I mean, it's also a way not to be satisfied with what you do. In fact, in the beginning, with uh, doing the circle paintings, I thought I was going to do them for the rest of my life. And maybe the world is going to change or something like that. Of course, the world hasn't changed. And at one point, I had enough of these. And I went and I thought, this is silly. And then I did something else. And, uh, and then I thought, wow, this is not working either. I have to do something else. And, then, and that's what you do. You see the one with the circle? because I know it's not going to change the world to begin with. And, uh, but I can still, so it's a little more selfish and it's, it's maybe a little more personal or something like that. And then more people can deal with it or not. In all my paintings, it's, uh, it's a little bit difficult to defend. I mean, I, I try to understand what I'm doing by doing it, but uh, uh, it's, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know how to defend that. I mean, I just say, well, it can be done. Now, is it interesting? That's what the, the guy at the custom said. Well, it's other people who decide that.